Number 122, Mr. Mime, the barrier Pokemon. Mr. Mime is a master of pantomime. Its gestures and motions convince watchers that something unseeable actually exists. Once the watchers are convinced, the unseeable thing exists as if it were real. And where are you at with this one? Get out of here with that. I do not like this boy. <laughs> <laughs> the barrier Pokemon, you say? I yeah, there's a lot of barriers between you and this Pokemon, and yeah, you should and be I've, glad. I've willingly put them there. <laughs> I see you've written something a little unusual in your notes for this Pokemon. I'd like you to elaborate on that for me, if you would. Sure. So, uh, my word for Mr. Mime is father. Why? <laughs> so, this is a little controversial, but there's oh a long... Oh god, I know what it is. <laughs> There's a long-running theory, uh, or, or I guess open speculation... It's Fanon. Uh, ...about who possibly could be Ash Ketchum's father. In Pallet Town in the anime, we don't actually see many uh, viable people that uh, Delia Ketchum could possibly have procreated with, um, and the options are really narrowed down to two. Professor Oak or Mr. Mine? So, father is the word that comes to mind. Um, I don't know where I stand on this issue. I think that it's two dark timelines here stretching before us. I'd rather that we were in the Professor Oak world, but I fear looking at how things are going in our society that we must be in the Mr. Mime timeline. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much, Sammy. So a fun fact is that in an upcoming Pokemon movie, they actually do plan to have Ash Ketchum talk a little bit about the fact that he doesn't know who his father is. No. Um, and so I can only assume that the question is going to be answered soon. I'm not sure if that movie's come out yet. If so, I didn't hear anything about when it came out, so probably it was Mr. Mime and everyone agreed not to talk about it. <laughs> um, look, I don't... <laughs> you decided to forget... <laughs> Look, I don't have a thing more to say about this guy, though. <laughs> I hate that. Um, I was going to give Mr. Mime two stars, but with this revelation, I'm, I'm bringing it down to half a star. <laughs> you? Mr. Mime is critically flawed at his core, um, but he is good around the house, and, you know, if he is the baby daddy, he's doing what he needs to to help out Delia. Uh, two and a half out of five for a total score of three out of ten. Incredible. Next!